up, mother foxes? Welcome back to the Dirty Pirate the Hooker Garage. <laughs> so, last time you seen me, I was in bad shape. Out of the emergency room for the sciatica. Yes, it's been a while, so it got worse. It got really bad. I had to go back to the emergency room, got five shots, one in each hip. It's been bad. So, um, I do believe I'm on the mend. Not all there yet. Um, I can't stand in one spot for too long. I gotta keep moving. That's my back and hip hurts unless I bend over here like this. But uh, I got everything for this car, and uh, I can't put any of it on. So one thing I can do is I can swap these intakes. So yeah. Put everything together, take it all apart. It's the rolling theme with this car, so um, that's what I'm gonna do. Take the intake off, get the other one on. <laughs> it is an eBay intake, okay? Um, <laughs> now, you know, a lot of people, there's some people out there that say don't buy that shit because it's they buy it and it's warped and it's like, oh, but it's just crap, so they buy an Edel Brock or a Holly or something like that. All I gotta tell you is go on YouTube and find all these people that are having problems with Holly snipers. <laughs> okay? And Holly themselves have admitted that some of them are just defective. And people still buy them. <laughs> My point is, anything mass produced is gonna have a few turns. So, I don't think it's gonna be an issue. But, if I do, I do have a plan B, and that is. I have a friend. Can I put it up on the screen right here? <laughs> Wicked SBT on Instagram, follow him. Um, my buddy, Justin, he's an engineer in a machine shop. So I got a hold of him. I said, hey, if this thing's warped, he goes, I'll hook you up. I'll straighten the fuck out of that thing. <laughs> so there's the other option if it's not if it's warped. I doubt it. Um, but yeah, I gotta take the distributor off here. Gotta take this cooling tube off there. Probably won't be using that. Probably have to run a couple of hoses. And then the other thing I think we'll do is maybe pull the wiring harness out. And get that out of here. I don't know. See if I can do that. See if it's not too big of a deal. Yeah, I mean, the other thing is the fuel system, guys. And I'm not getting on the floor right now. <laughs> I gotta pull the tank down and. I think that's got a half a tank of gas in it. <laughs> but we got a pump, we can get it out of there. But yeah, because after, after I do this stuff, the car's gonna come up off the ground on our, my wheel chocks and wheel stands, whatever you wanna call them. And then uh, get to work on the fuel system, so. But yeah, let's do the simple thing first. Let's just get the intake, these intakes off, and. Get the new one on, make sure it's flat. I'm sure it'll be okay. Yeah. I'm getting lucky right now, so I don't know. November was a trash month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything else. I'm just gonna pull this stuff apart. <laughs> that has everything on it. I redid it all. Went through it, made sure there was nothing bad on it. But I got a whole main harness here that is MAF. They converted it to a MAF. It wasn't a MAF, but they converted it. Now this, if you want to buy it, this is 300 bucks, brand new. Yeah, it's got broken clips on it. You can always tape it. Ooh, I'm bleeding. <laughs> red, red for the horse. Um, 
But yeah, 300 bucks. If anybody's looking for a main harness and this, I'll sell it. I don't need it. So. And see? There you go. All that comes out. All of it. Plus, the. Like I showed before here the ejector harness. 300 bucks. 300 bucks. You want a brand new. Um, and this, of course. If you want a brand new is <laughs> I don't know why you want these anyways but here's the math it's the last connector and all this I unhooked it from the computer on the inside so I can pull this out it's gonna be a little bit of finagling but um, then we had of course you had to take the I'd take tire off <laughs> and I had to pull down my my little hoop I have over there to pull the rest of the wire through which was to the coil and the fuel pump I believe which I'm going to be wiring that different and then the Aces has a, a relay for the fuel pump on it and it should have the coil plug as well but yeah look at all that all that mess is gone now there's going to be a little mess in there so, and then this thing's gone, this is gone, we're not using that. And then eventually, their distributor they have, you can uh, lock out the mechanical advance and just let the computer run the timing advance, which is pretty cool, so. But yeah. It's harder than it was last time. Huh? Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. We'll be back after these messages. Look at that. Gone. All right. Now we'll get this off, and then we'll get the eBay piece and see if it's warped. <laughs> Draw to your attention, nice, shiny, you know, finish on that thing. It looked pretty damn good. So, let's see if it wobbles. Is that really is wobbling to you? No, you don't wobble there. That's All true. right, man. I think we got a good one. Uh, they put those in there for whatever you need. If not, you unplug them. Okay. So we're, we're so you can put these in the back if you want. No, we can't. Yeah, you, you can want. put this back there, but you can't put that back here. Yeah, it's gotta be up there. So and we, I checked. I just checked the kit. Of course, it's got, it, like I said, it's got its own coil plug. It's not much stuff to plug in, man. Wait, Justin had to learn to motor C again. All right, we'll find out, won't we? We got one big massive gas vacuum leak, I should say. Just try to focus on these straight down. Straight down. Yeah. Cool. Just focus down those holes. this but it's got three of these holes so you can put your stuff wherever you want and whatever wherever you don't want it you just gotta plug it he's gonna figure out what size those are and plug them but there it is man it's not a mounter and i just sitting up there but one plug goes to there 
Then there's two other plugs that plug into the ECU that'll be fed in there and we'll keep it inside because that's smart. It's not Holly. <laughs> and yeah, everything is tucked up inside this thing. The TPS, the IAC, um, and the three bar map sensors in there as well. So I gotta figure out which vacuums I need to plug into, which kinda sucks because, yeah. Get a brake plug in. I gotta get the brake in over there. So that kinda stinks, but. And I think that's it besides, you know, this stuff here, but that's a AC, I'm not worried about that right now. But there it is, we got the intake installed. Awesome. And we get to see that on top of it. So So anyway everybody, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And we'll get back onto this. I don't know what we're gonna do next. I don't know. So I'm getting a little bit better. Maybe I can I did get down there and pull the tire put the tire back on and took it off. So maybe I get on the ground and do some fuel stuff, so Anyway, thanks for watching. Later.